click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends and today we are going to study a problem run which is based on discrete time Fourier transform that is a DTFT. So first of all we will move on to question. Now a problem number one. Consider the following DT system. What do you mean by DT? It is discrete time. Function is given y of n is equal to half of x of n minus 2 plus 1 by 4 x of n minus 1 plus 1 by 4 x of n minus 3. And what is asked? Find DTFT that is a discrete time Fourier transform of y of n. Next, what we want? A magnitude response, phase spectrum and after that we will draw the graph for both. Both means we will draw the magnitude plot and then phase spectrum. Now, before moving to solution, you should know the properties of DTFT and the definition of DTFT. If you know both the things, then you can move on to the solution. First of all, this is our equation or the system equation y of n equals to half of x of n minus 2 plus 1 by 4 x of n minus 1 plus 1 by 4 x of n minus 3. Now, as I said here on right hand side, both or all the x of n functions are delayed which means here I'm going to use a time shifting property of discrete time Fourier transform The property statement is DTFT of x of n minus k is e to the power minus j omega k x of omega. Now I will apply a discrete time Fourier transform on both the sides. So y of n is represented in y of omega whereas x of n is represented in x of omega here i'm going to use a time shifting property where my k value is 2 here my k value is 1 and at the end we have a k value 3 so first of all we'll write a constant part outside and then we will apply time shifting property on x of n minus 2 n minus 1 and n minus 3 and as I discussed, my k values already mentioned 2, 1, and 3 respectively. And then we'll move on to next part that is a magnitude and phase spectrum. Now look at here from right hand side I can take x of omega common as well as along with x of omega I will take 1 by 4 e to the power j omega common. From right hand side I will take x of omega 1 by 4 e to the power minus j omega common. What is remaining inside the packet? This place is first of all replaced by 1 from this term i have already taken 1 by 4 x of omega common now if i take minus j omega common then what you will get e to the power minus j to omega but i will write this one as e to the power minus j omega raised to 2 because power of power is always product of both so e to the power minus j omega into 2 is minus j to omega now what about this here also from x of omega i have taken common from this part i am going to take minus j omega outside so what is remaining e to the power minus j omega but if i take 1 by 4 common from this bracket then what will be there inside the bracket i can write and now if i take 1 by 4 common from this half what is remaining inside we will have only 2 over there. Now look at here. This is the equation of a square. This bracket gives us a equation value and that equation value is a square plus b square plus 
टू ए बी वेर माई ए इज वन एंड माई बी इज ई टू दी पॉर माइनस जी ओमेगा सो दिस इज द फॉर्मूला ऑफ ए प्लस बी दी होल स्क्वायर Or else we can say I'll multiply one by four e to the power minus j omega with one plus e to the power minus j omega square bracket. Now. I'll shift this one by four inside this bracket, and this x of omega will be shifted to left hand side. Now, whenever we shift one by four inside the square bracket, then we will always take the square root of this four or one by four. The square root of one is one. And square root of four is two, so we'll write here at two. Now we know that y of omega by x of omega is always h of omega. That is a transfer function in but in Fourier domain. Now we can treat this whole bracket as a cos function. Now. How to obtain the cos function when we have one on one side and plus e to the power minus j omega? We have studied one cos formula, but in exponential form. That is, this was the formula. So on both the side, what we want the function with the same theta but with negative or opposite sign. Now, if I said this one is obtained just by multiplying exponential function having a power of minus j omega by two and plus j omega by two, then because if the bases are same, powers always get added. So he look at it. If the bases are same, then powers always get added. So here only sign is changed, which means after adding power, both the values will get cancelled. So we have only e to the power zero, and e to the power zero is always one. Now, if I want to achieve e to the power j omega by two on right hand side, then what we can do? We will break this e to the power minus j omega into e to the power minus j omega by two and e to the power minus j omega by two. Now, from this equation, I can say that I can take minus j omega by two common from these two brackets. So, when this e to the power minus j omega two will comes out from this square bracket, then I can say that this two two will get cancelled. So we will have only minus j omega. Now, if I want to take e to the power minus j omega by two common from this bracket, and this bracket is having a power two, so this power will be applied on e to the power minus j omega by two. And as I told you earlier, if we have a function like e to the power j omega two, and if I want to apply a square on this function, then of course the power is multiplied with the power. Here the power is two, so of course the term, what whichever term will comes out this bracket will carry the two power, and this two two will get cancelled. So we have only e to the power minus j omega after taking this e to the power minus j omega two, our common from this square bracket, and inside this bracket what we have. Now compare these two equations. Now I can say that my equation is in the form of cos omega or a omega, where my a omega is only omega by two. Now here, here the bases are same, so powers we can add. So minus j omega plus minus j omega, it will be minus j two omega. 
and here I'm going to write only a cos theta formula and it is in square format. This is the DTFT of y of omega or you can say the given function or the system. Now from these two parts I can say that and this will give us the value of magnitude spectrum. Now we will separate these two values. So my magnitude value is cos of omega by 2 and my phase value of h of omega is minus 2 omega. Now if I want to plot the graph for both then we will substitute my omega value from 0 to pi or you can say from minus pi to pi. Now, I will substitute my omega values. As I said, I am going to substitute my omega value from minus pi to pi. So, first of all, we will substitute minus pi in magnitude format. If I substitute cos of minus pi by 2, then cos of minus theta is always cos theta. So, cos of minus pi by 2 is always cos of pi by 2. And we know that cos pi by 2 is always 0, which means at minus pi, you will get a zero value. Now, we will substitute omega as a zero. If this omega is replaced by zero, then cos of zero is always one. One means your graph will attain a maximum value. Now, again, I will substitute my omega value, which is pi. So, we will have cos of pi by two. And as I discussed, cos pi by two is always zero, which means At pi, you will get answer 0. So, this is the graph you will get when we are going to calculate the magnitude format. Now, we will move on to phasor plot or phase spectrum. We will do the same thing over here also. We will substitute first of all minus pi. If I substitute minus pi then minus of minus become plus you will get value which is plus 2 pi so let's say this is the value of plus 2 pi so we'll mark one point over here now we will substitute 0 if i place 0 over here 0 into anything is always 0 which means my phase spectrum at 0 is always so phase spectrum at omega equals to 0 is always 0 now we will substitute my next value which is if i substitute pi over here then you will get answer minus 2 pi so we will mark first of all minus 2 pi and this value you have got when my omega value is so this intersection value is nothing but my 2 pi value that is minus 2 pi value and now i will connect all these three points and this is nothing but my phase spectrum this is the value of magnitude spectrum and this one is the spectrum for magnitude similarly this is the equation for phase spectrum and this is the graph of phase spectrum now we will solve a next numerical but in next video so thank you for watching this video stay tuned to ekda and subscribe to ekda for further more videos thank you so much